Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Wikizuma. I want to simply add in the ability for you to use two Zuma, like pedestals of sorts, as well as an entity info item to then pretty much present uh, certain models, or a scale, or show a green screen, or certain other things. So, yeah. So what we want to do is pretty much just make a item zoomer, which is diamond, cobble, and smooth stone, or if you want an entity one, it's just an emerald and the same. There's also an entity info item, which is just purple dye, paper, and a bone. So for the item one, you pretty much just place it in the world, and you just put an item or block or something on it. Uh, obviously if you put anything else on, it'll just sort of swap it out. If you have multiple of the same type, it'll still just keep doing that, or you just press any block, and it'll do that. Um, Otherwise, I guess that could count as maybe a duplication bug, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll try it in survival actually, and see if that's just the case. Um, in creative it's a duplication bug, in survival it's not of course. Um, so that's interesting to know. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, you can pretty much just sneak, and then click, and then you can get a look at it here so you can change the size of it uh, as small as possible or as large as possible I'll just get rid of faults again real quick put a green screen if you want which is literally green um, which doesn't affect the outside of it so that's good to know and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for that and if we go to the entity one obviously you want to use your entity info item to then bind it to a mob so we just go for a chicken here, we just right click, and it's supposed to give us a actual thing here, I don't know what happened there. So clicking on the things. Okay, so it worked in creative fairly well. I'll have to go back in there then, because that is quite odd. It doesn't work in survival, but it does in creative. Uh where are you? Here we go. There you go. So you can see it's already just giving it to me no problem, but for some reason. Survival just does not want to do it. Oh well. Here we back to obviously how we present it. So if we just get another one here, place this down, place it here, and they'll display a chicken or a pig or whatever mob you've got. And again, you can change the size of it. Be small or large or regular. Your default on here. Ah, it's getting stuck. There we go. And you've got the green screen as well if you want, and you can close. So it makes things easier to pretty get much um, display them if you want, or I guess if you wanted to screenshot certain things for wikis, you could do that where it's just like, okay, a certain reasonable size, uh, you get the green screen, so there's no you know showing of the game at all, so it's just a green screen, and obviously you can then obviously screenshot it, and then obviously you know, edit whatever you need to then um, capture the model and put it on a wiki or something else if you wanted. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess for modded wikis, technically, I don't know what modded mobs I have in this instance. I don't think I do. Um, hmm. yeah, I don't think I have any, but if there were to be, I assume you could just use them and it'd be fine. So, I was going to say a zombified piglin as an example. Not that it's modded, of course, but just to show something else. Um, of a larger scale, of course, compared to a chicken or a pig. I'll just do that. Okay. Apparently, that doesn't work. Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't really understand some of my pig one. That's a good thing I tested that. Alright, so we'll try another mob that's more normal, maybe. Or um, something else. Let me show it. Can you get you? Thank you. You can't get a wandering trade hut. Good to know. So things with GYs you can't. Got a witch. We'll go with zombie, of course, because that's regular. Uh, let's see, a turtle. I'm just going to try a multitude of things and see what we get for results. Um, what's another one? A pedestal. I guess I could get a minecart as like an entity. A different kind, actually both will do. 
folks are always easier than my accounts and pressing down. So we can't with that one. We can't with boats. Good to know then. Uh, horse, because they're a bit hard and complicated. Actually, no, specifically the skeleton or zombie horse. For actual proper demonstration. So. Alrighty. So, entity. Got witch. Got zombie. We've got turtle. Skeleton horse works. The zombie horse. Um, zombie villager. I don't think we can. can we? Alright. Because you never know with certain things that are or aren't supported, but it's going to be supported eventually. Well, so many of those are. Okay, so just the zombified piglins aren't. Go with actual piglins uh, in comparison, and a hoglin or a zoglin. We'll see what happens there. Because obviously they are new, so. We're not always going to get them to the uh, availability yet. Piglin. Can we get a baby piglin? Yes, we can. Piglin, piglin. Okay, so that's that then. And we'll just go here, 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 and here. So we got piglin. Baby piglins do count. Can we get zombie, baby zombies and such? I'm assuming the baby ones don't count either. Um, I think maybe pigs or something like that. Let's see if baby animals can also be presented. I think you can do. No, I was lucky. Um, okay, no thanks. Thank you. Okay, so they can as well. So that's good to know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.